Hello, my dear students. This is Lena Abdullah, your IT teacher again. Welcome you in our week two for the advanced ICDL course where we have a summary for what we are going to cover this week. Last week, we started with section one where we cover the formatting options. Today, we'll start with, or let's say in this lesson, we'll start with worksheet in this lesson you will learn how to copy and move between uh, copy and move course worksheet between spreadsheet how to split window windows and how to hide or show rows columns and worksheets of course these uh, skills are very important where uh, sometimes you have a certain worksheet uh, and you need another copy of it you can keep the original one and create another copy and rename it as you can also move it to another spreadsheet file um, also you will learn how to split the window horizontally or vertically so you can work in in different parts at the same time also sometimes you need to hide certain rows or columns um, uh, so you can um, make the vision more clear or let's say you can get closer certain columns or rows so in this lesson by end of this lesson, we have certain objectives, copy or move worksheet between spreadsheets, split window and hide, or show rows, columns, or worksheet. We'll make sure to cover all of that. Uh, in our second lesson, we'll start with functions and formulas, where in this lesson, you will learn how to use date and time functions like today, now, day, month, and year where you will recognize the built-in uh, date and time functions and we are going to ser use certain ones like today which will give us back the day of a certain date now will give us the time uh, and the uh, date for this day uh, day will extract the day of a certain date month is the same and year the same so if you have certain uh, day, uh, sorry, certain dates, you can extract day, month, year from it. Uh, today will give you back the date of today. Now will give you back the time for you are looking for. Also in this lesson, you will recognize the built-in date and time functions and use the date and time function where we will practice all of that inside the class. In our third lesson, We'll keep with functions and formulas section. And today we'll start with the mathematical functions where we'll go over round up, round down functions, and sum of functions. These functions are very important, especially in math, where you can round up or down the normal numbers. I'm sure you are familiar with the round, but round up and round down, has a, uh, they have different techniques. We will practice it inside the class. Also, we'll do summation according to a certain criteria. So for example, if you look at the picture here, you'll find that there is an example where we have uh, different names and sales. So we can sum only the sales who they offer over 25, or uh, we will sum the, the sales for David, or sum the sales for the names who they contain, contains A. So you can apply the sum f function in different ways to, uh, let's say, sum certain values according to a criteria. Then we'll start with uh, statistical functions. Statistical functions also uh, important functions. We have count f, count blank, and rank avg. Count f, it will count the number of cells who they have a certain data. For example, you need to count all the colors black so you will just count the number of cells who they have the word black or they have the word Johnny or they have Sammy or whatever so here you are not some uh, certain values you calculate the number of cells who they have the criteria you are looking for also uh, we have count black will just count the number of cells who they are empty Rank if uh, AVG, which give you us uh, you the rank for certain numbers, and of course, you know what is the rank. Especially in the school, we have rank for each one of you. So we will show you how to find out the rank for certain values. 
the last lesson in this week will be about uh, text functions where we'll use left, right, mid, term, and concatenate functions. These functions will be only applied to a text where you can find certain a number of letters from the left side, right side, from the mid. You can trim, which is very nice uh, function, just remove the space or the empty space from uh, text. Also, we will use concatenate function where we can use it to combine two texts together or three texts together in different cells. So my dear students, uh, in this week we as you see, we'll start with the functions and formulas, and we'll go over different types of them, and you will find the benefit of each one and how you can even apply that to uh, real-life examples. Um, I wish you are... Uh, uh, I wish everything is clear, my dear students. See you again.